to about 88, 89 US dollars. Why should you care? Uh, well, two things. If you're a regular of my channel, if you're one of those three people, possibly four, then the difference it's making for me is it's speeding up massively the amount of time, uh, reducing the amount of time that it takes me to produce videos. What does that mean? It means that I can spend more time creating more. So my intention going forward is to make a minimum of one video a week, but hopefully two, possibly three, if time allows. And we we'll have a look at this rig, you'll see that uh, it should really help me to do that. Is it going to make me a master editor? No, but I'll get better with time, I'm sure. I'll show you through my current setup and what I use, and I'll give you an example of why I've been struggling. And then I'll move on and show you my current setup. If you're thinking 70 quid, Simon, there is no way um, it's going to do a decent job. Well, number one, it isn't new. You'd be right in thinking that. But number two, you might be surprised. So I hope you enjoy. hope you get something out of it. And I hope you stick around for my future videos using my new rig. Thank you. So this is my laptop, which today is what I've done all my video editing and rendering on and uploading to YouTube. This is, this is all I had to use. It's a 2014 Asus N550. It's, if we look at the specs, there we go. It's six gigs of RAM, uh, and inside it there's an Intel Core i5 4200 mobile CPU with a 1.6 to 2.3 gigahertz uh, clock in it. It's I've <laughs> I'll demonstrate just how I've been struggling when it comes to editing videos. I've Got uploaded one of my one of my previous ones with the raw video files in it, and I'll just I'll just play a little bit of it, and you'll perhaps see why I've really quite struggled to do editing on it. Okay. Yeah. Let's move somewhere else into the video. Let's let's try a bit there. I think you get the idea. I'll pause it there. So I totally get that that laptop was never ever designed to be doing 4K video. Never in a month of Sundays. 4K video, 30 frames a second. Doesn't stand a chance. But I, I, <laughs> I've sort of like muddled through with it. In terms of rendering time though, so moving on from the editing, the rendering times. One of my recent videos, I think it was about 30 odd minutes long. To render on that laptop, it took about eight, eight and a half hours to, to render it so I could upload it to YouTube. My new 70 quid uh, desktop, same video, 32 minutes. That is light and day, absolute light and day. This is going to transform my time in terms of creating is going to give me the time to create rather than scream and pull. I'd say pull my hair out, but that's not even an option for me, is it? Just screaming, just screaming and having a tantrum because it's taking so long. Or it's gone six hours and then it's failed. So no more moaning. Let's, let's have a look at what I've got. And I hope you like it. You'll see a difference, I hope. 
So this is what, £70, 88, 89 dollars, US dollars has got me. Uh, it's certainly got a retro twang to it. We've got the front panel with the obligatory CD drive. Uh, <laughs> I'll bob the front panel off. And a tiny little motherboard, the little 1050 Ti there. Uh, a couple of sticks of uh, eight gig, a uh, couple of eight gig sticks of RAM. That's pretty. That's pretty much it. And it's brilliant. It's brilliant. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm I'm dying to hear. Uh, I'm dying to hear if uh, if you think I've got a bargain. I think I have purely from. Purely from its its performance over what I've been using. I can't wait to get started with it. I really can't. And yeah, let, let me know what you think. And I know it needs a clean. I know that. I know that I'll get round to it at some point. Uh, but yeah, hope you like it. I hope you like it. I hope you think I got myself a bag in here. So this is some of the specs of my new desktop. 16 gigs of RAM, uh, another Intel Core i5, but this time desktop class 4460 with uh, a clock speed of 3.2 gigs. Inside it's also a 1050 Ti graphics card. Now, if I just bring up Premiere Pro, which I'm starting to learn because this machine seems to cope with it. Uh, similar video to what I've shown you on the laptop. Uh, what's the length of this? Just coming up to 40 minutes long. So a lengthy video. Just pick anywhere in it. Near the beginning, let's try that. That's worth mentioning now. Right at the end, let's try that. I've got the power lead plugged in, I've got the mic. Top of my head, shot. An empty piece of desk. Another headshot. Hopefully with this rig, you'll have less shots of empty desk and less shots of the top of my head which has got to be good for everybody, hasn't it? So I'm hoping you can see that this is the absolute world apart from running on the laptop. It, it really, really is completely different. I'll shut that up anyway. So you get an idea of, of where I'm coming from, I hope. I hope you'll see this in videos going forwards, the the difference. It'll give me a chance to practice my editing skills or lack thereof. And I hope you will see an increase in the content. Thank you for watching. If I've earned a thumbs up, that'd be great. If I've earned a sub because you'd like to see some more of my tomfoolery, then even better. But regardless, Thank you for watching and I hope I'll see you in another video.